Okay guys, so today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I want to talk about Sword Soul in the context of the newly announced Apodrakosis archetype. So this is one of the new archetypes that is coming in the deck build pack, I think later this year, along with Malice and Rizal, I think. Now, I want to give you a brief overview of what this does based on the principles that I normally talk about when it comes to deck building. So if you have a deck like Sword Soul and you're adding a new engine to the deck, there are a few things you should consider. The most obvious one is, how does this change your ceiling? The second thing is, how does this change your consistency? And the third thing is, how does this change how you play through interruptions? Now, I'll tell you right off the bat that there is a major problem with the engine size seriously restricting how much non-engine you can play. This is just a template to show you that you have almost no space for non-engine cards in this version. Um, it is also worth mentioning that there are basically two cards that you want to draw. Guangba, who's basically like Arceus. So like, you know, he's like Arceus, he's Groudon, he's Kyogre, he's Rayquaza. And their names are crazy, so that's what we're calling them. And they each have their own spell. So Arceus has his spell, uh, Groudon has his spell, Kyogre has his spell, and Rayquaza has uh, his spell. The problem is that Arceus searches any card in the entire archetype with the scale effect, the pendulum effect. The Arceus spell searches any card, any monster card in the archetype, and those are the two cards you want to draw. Everything else you basically don't want to draw. The field spell gives you a crazy triple special summon, uh, but it doesn't do anything by itself. And then Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza don't do anything by themselves, and the continuous spells don't do anything by themselves. So you can evaluate for yourself if you think this is worth it or not, but I want to show you what it actually looks like if you play these cards, because it does add some synergy to the Sword Soul deck. Uh, so, uh, super briefly, Arceus, the Pendulum Effect, searches any Apodrakosis card. Um, the Monster Effect is after you have searched with the Pendulum, he destroys himself and he plays himself in the Pendulum Zone. Now, this card can be special summoned if a monster on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect while he is in the extra deck. So you can tribute a level 10 Apodrakosis monster, and if you do special summon this card, treat it as a ritual summon, then you can destroy up to two cards you control, and if you do, place up to that many Apodrakosis continuous spells from your deck face up on your field. Now this is relevant because all the continuous spells basically give you effects. They give you uh, like continuous effects, and they give your monsters effects, so that's relevant. The Arceus spell adds an Apodrakosis monster from your deck to your hand, and that's basically all we're going to talk about for that. This one... Uh, when it's activated, you can take three monsters from your deck, a dinosaur, sea serpent, and worm. You add one to your hand, you banish the other, and you send the last to your graveyard. But then you can't summon for the rest of the turn except dragon, dinosaur, sea serpent, and worms. So Groudon is a dinosaur, Rayquaza is a sea serpent. Uh, sorry, Rayquaza is a, a worm, Kyogre is a sea serpent, Groudon is a dinosaur, and then Arceus is a dragon. Um, so those are the only types you can special summon after you've used the field spell. But the field spell says if you have a face-up Arceus in uh, your extra deck, you can special three Apodrakosis monsters uh, with different types, one from your deck, graveyard, and banishment. So the reason that there are only two good cards to draw in this deck, Arceus and the Arceus spell, is that the field spell requires Arceus face-up in your extra deck to do the special summon, and these cards are basically just search targets. Now the Groudon spell, uh, it gives Apodrakosis monsters you control 300 attack, and then... It gives Apodrakosis Pendulum Monsters, so basically that's just Arceus, and uh, Dinosaur Monsters, let's see, wait, where, where, where did I... Uh, it gives Apodrakosis Pendulum Monsters and level 10 or higher monsters whose original type is Dinosaur, so just Groudon, this effect. Once per turn, when the effect of a monster on the field with less attack than this card is activated, you can place one face of Apodrakosis Continuous Spell you control to the bottom of your deck, negate the activation. This one... Gives Apodrakosis Pendulum Monsters, so basically Arceus, um, and then Sea Serpent level 10 or higher monsters. Uh, the effect in your opponent's turn, quick effect, to place a face up Apodrakosis continuous spell you control to the bottom of the deck, then target a card on the field, return it to the hand. Now, the worst one is the Rayquaza one. Uh, so, this again gives Arceus the Pendulum Monster, and then all worm monsters the following effect, which is you can uh, place. A continuous spell, all of them place a continuous spell on the bottom of the deck, 
and then it does something. And this one targets a monster on the field and changes its attack to zero. Now, this is unfortunate because how this reads, okay, Apodrakosis, Pendulum Monsters, and level 10 or higher monsters whose original type is Worm, this effect. Chenging is a Worm, Sinister Sovereign is a Worm, so they all gain this effect, but it's not a useful effect. However, the continuous effect, any monster sent from the field to the graveyard during your opponent's turn is banished instead. That is very good against Ubel and Snake Eyes and lots of different decks. So yeah, the ratio of cards you want to draw, basically six, so three RCS, three RCS spell, to cards you don't want to draw, field spell, uh, Rayquaza, Kyogre, Groudon, Groudon spell, Rayquaza spell, uh, and if you're playing the Rayquaza spell, it's just like, it's six to seven at least, it's not very good. But let me show you what the deck does. Uh, so only five minutes in, uh, let's look at replays here, look up the Sword Soul stuff. So here is what the combo is supposed to look like. So you've drawn a starter, so either Arceus or the Arceus spell, and then your Sword Soul cards. So you activate Arceus, he searches the field spell, and then he destroys himself. Now the field spell, remember, you only get the special summon if you have Arceus face up in the extra deck. So the field spell adds one to hand, banishes one, and sends one to the grave. Uh, now Groudon, which we just added to the hand, he can place himself from the hand into the deck to search the Groudon spell. Now we can use the field spell to special one from deck, who we just put back, one from banished, and one from grave. So we haven't used our normal summon or any other effect, and now we can summon Verudris. Remember that we are locked into worm, dinosaur, sea serpent, and dragon monsters, but Verudris is a worm, so we can still summon him. So uh, now we are going to make a Baxia, and the thing about Baxia that's very important in this deck is that Baxia says you can target a card you control and a level four or lower monster in your grave, destroy the card on the field, and if you do special summon the monster from your grave. So if you played Sword Soul, you already know that Taya can dump Mo Yi, and then Baxia can special Mo Yi. But this card, the Arceus card says, if a monster on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, while this card is in the extra deck, you can tribute a level 10 Apodrakosis monster. And if you do, special summon this card. So we have a level 10 Apodrakosis monster. So we can special summon him. And then we can destroy up to two cards you control, any cards. And if you do, place up to that many Apodrakosis continuous spells from your deck face up onto your field. So those are the ones that give your monsters special effects. So we dump the Moi, we special it off of Baxia, and that allows us to trigger the uh, Guangba. Now here we've already drawn the Kyogre spell and we searched the Groudon spell, so we're not gonna pop our cards, but we could pop you know, the Field spell, for example, or something else. Um, and so now we make the Grandmaster and uh, we search the Blackout here, and now we go into Cheng Ying. Uh, so I just wanna show you quickly that these cards here they give your monsters effects, okay? They all give it to Arceus and then to whatever type they correspond to. So right now we have the Ascension Gate, the Kyogre spell, who is giving the once per opponent's turn quick effect, place a face-up Apodrakosis continuous spell you control on the bottom of the deck, target a card on the field, return to your hand. We can use this effect as many times as we want, as long as it's a different monster using the effect. So let's say the normal summon a monster. Uh, we just put... A continuous spell on the bottom of the deck can be anyone. We bounce it, okay? Now they activate something, and we bounce it off of this one. And now we've run out of continuous spells to, to bounce. So that's how the deck works there. Um, now I will show you really quickly that the field spell helps with Sword Soul. This is where some of the synergy is because it can add any worm. So we activate feed spe field spell, and we add a worm from our deck to our hand. Because remember, you can add any worm, dinosaur, or sea serpent to your hand, and then the other two you send to your grave and banish. So here we can add the Moi, we can banish the Groudon, we can send the Kyogre, um, and we special the Rayquaza from deck. So you, you don't even have to have access to all three in banished grave and field, because one comes from the deck. Then obviously you make the uh, Verudris, and then you can continue with whatever the combo was that you're going to make. Uh, so that's pretty self-explanatory. You, if you were playing Protoss, you would search Protoss off the Emergence, and that's basically a standard combo line there. Now, the last thing I want to show you, I need to emphasize this is Copium, okay? This is about using the Abyss Dragon, the Sword Soul card. So let's say that your opponent has gone first, and you're trying to break the board. Uh, now, I guess they don't have to have gone first, but it's easiest to show it this way. So you use the uh, Arceus to set up the Field Spell, and... Uh, um, here we are summoning the, the Mo Yi and we're going into Grandmaster here and we're going to search for the Abyss. So the Abyss Dragon, this card is trash, but it says, 
Must be special summoned by a worm monster's effect. Obviously, this is a worm monster. Um, if a monster is banished by card effect, you can special summon this card from the graveyard or from the hand, but banish it when it leaves the field. If this card is special summoned, you can target one card in the field zone and one monster your opponent controls or in their grave. Banish them, and you can only use that once per turn. Now, unfortunately, Rayquaza's banish effect, he banishes his cost to, to add his field sp his uh, continuous spell, so you can't use this to trigger the Abyss Dragon, but um, you can make a Chenging here, and then if you banish Rayquaza, Chenging doesn't care if the banish was cost or effect, the Chenging will trigger and uh, banish two cards, and then the Abyss Dragon, because a card was banished by card effect, will special summon itself. So if this card is special summoned, you can target a card in the field zone, so we have one in our field zone always, um, and one monster your opponent controls or in their graveyard and banish them. Now, obviously, the opponent, the AI right now, does not have a monster in their graveyard or on the field, but this trigger would now activate, and so we would have basically like Chengying and Chengying at home. Uh, so this card is not good. Uh, this would also add another brick into the deck that you don't want to play. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you can resolve that if you're playing, you know, a more casual list. Overall, my thoughts right now are, I think that this deck is probably, is probably better served either in a pure version, especially after it gets support. Like this looks like it could have, if it gets good support, could be really, really good. Um, or possibly white forest guys maybe video may be coming next because the thing is that these cards are more often bricks if you are playing them as a tiny engine in something else where you're enabling the entire engine through Arceus and the Arceus spell but if you could play more of these cards with maybe like a small white forest engine um, maybe you can get away with that. So I'm going to test that. And if it seems like it's worth posting, then I'll post it. So anyhow, that is a brief overview for now. Let me know if you have any thoughts on how to make this better. There's also a discord you can join and talk about deck building. Uh, but that's my overview for now. I think that it is not up to par with, uh, the current metagame, but you know, it, it has some potential.